let's just say 2013-14 is one big shining year for Brett Kissel, and it is definitely started with just a song. Mm -hmm. So, country album of the year and breakout artist of the year. That's right. And probably one of the youngest in the category, I might assume, this year. I, I really think so. <laughs> there's uh, there's kind of this new wave of country music. Uh, some of us young guns uh, <laughs> coming up through the ranks, but it's a it's a big thrill for me and for my family and everybody involved to really share in a very very successful and uh, incredible year. Okay, so the country music scene, the people involved, the artists involved, it is always so refreshing. Some of the most friendliest and open-minded people and you say that yourself and when you sit in this chair and I, mm -hmm. I feel like I've known you forever oh, Brett and you're so nice young and we, and we just you. met yeah. and, and we and your mom is here your father is coming That's your right. lovely wife is here I, I mean how, how does you how does it feel for you right now Brett I mean you're sitting in a TV chair and and people and your fans are watching you but is it kind of like, am I really here, or? Well, I'll tell you, there's, there's a few different ways to answer the question because the first answer is yes. It feels surreal to be experiencing everything here at the Junos and what the Junos has to offer and getting prepared for the red carpet and, and, and being here you know, on camera with you, but at the same time, and I have to be careful how I, how I say this, but I think I've been training for this for a long time. Now, I'm only 23, but I've been playing music for many years back home and it's like playing in the WHL hockey for many years and getting that call up to the to the big leagues yeah. so I feel that now that I you know got that little call up earlier this year I really just want to take take the ball and run with it or skate down the ice as fast as I can and you know savor the moment well I know and that's I think what this whole weekend is about is for people like you to be in the limelight and have that taste and you know but uh, you know even as when you were growing up back home you were always keeping it real your parents were making you keep it real your grandfather yes, kept they were. it real for you mm -hmm. yes uh, and they, they uh, I know they've been sharing in the success but at the same time they play a very important role mm -hmm. as my mom sits just on the other side of the camera that you know to keep me grounded and keep me humble because I'm very fortunate to have so many great experiences, especially over the last few years. Mm -hmm. But my grandfather famously said once after I played a, a big festival back home in Alberta, and about 30,000 people, and away I go, and sign autographs, come back home at about three or four in the morning. He wakes me up at quarter after six, says it's time to go chase cattle. And I was, I was giving him, you know, the gears about it. I said, Grandpa, don't you realize I just played this big show and I'm tired, I've only had two hours of sleep. And he said something I'll never forget. He said, Brett, you're no country star on the farm. And that was it. I woke uh. up, put on my rubber boots, and away <laughs> I went and had to go chase cows. <laughs> oh, for you, Brett, what is it about this year, um, the record, the songs that got you recognized? as opposed to all the other hard work and other things that you've done? Well, I think uh, it's a great question. What, what I'm very proud of my album is that, uh, the reason why I'm proud of my album is simply because each song has a real piece of me. Mm -hmm. And I was able to write or co-write every song on the project. So whether we're talking about just album cuts like Country in My Blood, which talks about my cattle ranch that I grew up on, or a song I wrote for my grandparents who passed away in a car accident called Together. That song's very special to me. Or you talk about the singles. Three, two, one is a very uh, important love song to me. Started with a song, describes every weekend party I ever had uh, throughout my high school years. So every song, you, you, you pick up the, the album and you, you pop it in, you listen to every song. It's, it's, it's like a biography, it's my timeline. You are coming back to Winnipeg, correct? Yes, well, I'm coming back to the area this summer for this party they call Dolphin Country Fest. Huh? I don't know much about it, but I hear that it's uh, probably one of Canada's biggest, if not Canada's very biggest country festival. So to get that opportunity to play there Friday night on I believe it's June 27th, like I, I don't know what to expect, but I think it's gonna be a good time. All I can say is hang on because okay. it's gonna be a very bumpy ride. I'm All looking right? forward to it. Okay, and we are too. Blake Shelton's gonna be there too. Yes. So uh, he's gonna have a run for his money. Well, with this Canadian kid here, Brett Kissel. Well, have some fun. Uh, I haven't had a chance to meet Blake Shelton yet, but uh, when I do, I'm sure uh, we'll crack a cold one and we'll, we'll share some stories. Yes, it's all about country music. Well, congratulations, Brett Thank Kissel. You.
may be the 2014 Breakout Artist of the Year. Our Go Junos con uh, continues right after this.